Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start, and probably completing to be honest, my review of All Island No Sea by Chris Campbell. So this is a poetry collection, um, I've read some of Chris's work before, he actually sent me this collection as well, and he's appearing on my radio show, so watch out for that. Um, it's a poetry collection, so it doesn't really have a blurb. It does say on the front page here, Dear Dane, thank you for the opportunity to appear on your show, all best Chris. Very cool. And um, yeah, this is published by Alien Buddha Press. As I always do with poetry collections, I'm just going to read the poems that I enjoyed the most, um, and then I'm going to share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, Dane reads. The morning you threw wet socks as we argued over bagels. I pick a wet sock from the foot of our front door wide open. The morning's bagel still hangs in the air, brings sweetness to a sour room. I swear in thick summer breath, angry words reverberating around half-packed boxes. Cat scratches at cardboard, not now. My hair aches. I snatch another damp sock, then I'm supposed to close the door forever. Just the smell of a bagel to remember all the times we danced. Dear Alan, 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 this one might be my favourite of the lot. I want to talk to you. Your mangy mongrel has bitten me again. Ran around the side past my bed of roses, sunk its teeth into my calf like it was the carrot cake I brought round for you. Wish I hadn't. Now in the heat wave, I'm sat with my leg pointing due west, ahead of the sunset that I'll miss while watching another heat in the Olympics on my hot, overworked TV. I just have to smell the mint and lavender through my small window beside me that I struggled to reach over and open this morning. Now I need Herculean strength to close it as I catch your noisy mutt peeing on my roses. He barks relentlessly and he's drowning on the Japanese crowd. It wasn't like this last week, Alan, before you moved in and I could work peacefully in the garden, tending to the lilies, plucking strawberries like hooker ducks. Tonight I'll picture my lawn before you arrived birds feeding and teaching the little ones how to fly. A pink sky will colour my white bench in twilight, the river gently tinkling in the background like a tambourine. Alan, I'll turn my TV up to cover the barks, hobble to the fridge for some ice. Empty the tray so it's just the way I enjoyed your house, neat and clear before you moved in with your bastard dog. I want the past in a cereal bowl, or spread across my toast. I want the past all tied up in a knot, even a bow. I want the past in bite-sized chunks, segmented to let go, passed from one hand to another like a baton or cricket ball. I want the past in a pirate ship sailing along the coast, passing tankers and dolphins, barely looking back, to admire the contour of the shore and all its rugged cracks. I want to fold the past up as if it were paper thin, parcel taped neatly and posted to all my kin. The past is the perfect sock to stuff into my drawer, and wear when I want, to comfort the soul. Okay, here we have Decorating the Jungle. I actually read this one in my wrap-up, if you watched that. No, it was in my vlog. In the clearing of our jungle, our decorator grabs brackets to refix old blinds. Clangs as she climbs up in the winter sunlight, breaking three thirsty plants. She's covered in crusting paint. Her pockets are hammock for nails. She steps up, brushes white as her new trainers, somehow spotless. Her colleague by the sitting room door, sniffing. Hope it's put together well. Her hands move fast with a screwdriver, the only heavy thud when she drops it back on the table where my wife works. Pushed back from the window in a cream hoodie, rising over her laptop. I'm waiting to hear if our offer on a home has been accepted. Five other bids to compete with. The decorator huffs, she's up and down the ladder. Short, fire red hair and small tattoo on the lower back of her neck. She's taller now as the brackets appear, one by one, like fruit and trees. Radiator the length of oak branches. In our jungle, the leaves hang longer as we fix the decor. They lean towards the radiator from all directions. The seller's decision looms. So I relate it to that one from buying a house, uh, Last year, last last uh, summer. Wasted skill. I snatch a dandelion with my boots tongue. Refuse to make a wish this dim Sunday. Head drops dead as an iron. Scalds my foot through polished leather. I curse wedges that flatten the world. This morning I tied my shoe, which no one does anymore. Though from the age of six, teachers urged otherwise. I pulled, loosened knots over and under, retrying like chopsticks. More times than the pair of chinos I fold at night. I'm fine with open shirts after years of bosses demanding ties. Just a wasted skill. I flatten my hair on my way to a work lunch meet, put the dandelion in my pressed handkerchief. All right, nostalgic tongue. Tiny melons, soft as gums, fall from the roof of my mouth. They gather speed, smash into teeth. I hope I eat tinned fruit for dessert like my granddad when I'm old, and ice cream with vanilla from Madagascar. I force wrinkles into my forehead when I clench the can opener. Melons fill cavities across my grimace like refreshing slices of nostalgia. Sunshine spotlighting footsteps on a snowy Christmas morning. I savour every crunch. Try slowing my hair loss and eye bags by chewing over fond memories, but I'm careful not to swallow pips of the past. 
they'll grow a tree in your stomach. And the last one here I want to read is called AIM. Garden sprinkle a leaking tap, hole in hose, thumb over edge for sideways spray, waterfall, heavy rain, shower, streams, bath flood, sink, splash, ceiling, drips, tears, drizzle, tongs, spits, dark streaks, soggy tissue, damp marks, bucket slosh, pot spills, trouser spots, drenched pants, soaked boots, sinking, stance, wet laces. I'm 36 and still can't piss properly. Yeah, relatable. So yeah, All Island No Sea by Chris Campbell. I enjoy Campbell's poetry style. Uh, as you can see, tell, it's kind of free verse, which I enjoy. Um, some word association going on there. Lots of really beautiful imagery, even when he's talking about getting piss on his own legs. Um, All Island No Sea by Chris Campbell. I gave it a four out of five. Would recommend if you're into kind of indie poetry. Um, also, he is going to be appearing on my radio show. And as part of that, there are some readings of him reading his own poems that you might want to check out. And obviously, you can listen to him chat a bit more about his poetic inspiration. So, All Island No Sea by Chris Campbell, I gave it a 4 out of 5. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.